So I'm starting this one up right after I ended the last one. Ran into this new dungeon at the end of another dungeon. I thought I was at the end. And I wasn't. So, uh... Basically, like, two for one. Although I do have to worry about potentially, like, not being prepared for... Razor. Not being prepared for... multiple dungeon runs. Razor. That sounded like a weapon. It is a weapon, but I can't use it for... Oh, there it is. It's not a very good weapon. Can anybody... No. I wonder if all these weird weapons with underwhelming stats I've been getting recently are potentially just, uh... Like, they have some secondary effect that's not being displayed in the stat screen that I'm just not grasping. Because, I mean, I'm not equipping it and trying it out. I wonder if this is going to be a like a short leg of the dungeon here. That I'm not really... It's not like a full dungeon in and of itself, just a little bit of a... Just this little thing that I'm looking at right now, the four wings with treasure chests in them. A lot of treasure chests I'm getting here. Protect ring. Protect ring. Protect ring. Protect ring. That's not a. Nobody can equip it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, they've already got protect rings, so it was useless. Money, that's. Um, let's keep going. Oh, okay, this is the exit. So I'm not going to go that way, because this way there's got to be treasure chests over here. What is that? Oh, black flan. Oh, the flans. Flans are a reoccurring enemy in the Final Fantasy series, so not quite as uh, common. I wonder if, in fact, these are... Oh, okay, I forgot. These... Okay, get, get out of the auto attack. It was probably strong against physical attacks and weak against magic. But I just brute forced it with attacks. Money is fine, you know. Money is fine and all. I can use money uh, for armor upgrades and stuff. Although, between the last dungeon and this one, I haven't uh, run into any shops. So all the money, except for that one magic spell I bought... All the money I had from the previous dungeon just sort of carried over into this one. Ah, okay, so I thought maybe this dungeon would be over. Just another bunch of wings here. Diamond gloves! Nope, not useful. Not good for you either. No one else can use them. So weird. They keep um, throwing new armor and weapons at me that aren't useful. I guess maybe if I. I mean, no hell. That, that doesn't even make any sense. I was thinking of. Because even if I went and didn't upgrade armor through purchasing it, because a lot of these games tend to have this. Diamond Shield. Did I already try that? Oh, I already had one going into this. Ribbon! That could be useful. Ribbon. Okay, so ribbons in... Uh... Ribbons in the other Final Fantasy games, at least, were items that kind of... Uh, negated all status changes. They were tremendously useful, so you tended not to get them until towards the end of the game. I don't know, it doesn't say anything about that working this way in this game. But I, like I was saying before, even if I had 
not upgraded my weapons and armor through shops. By this point, the stuff I'm finding here wouldn't have been useful to me anyway. Because of just finding so much of it and it's not better than what I already have. A lot of these games tend to have this sometimes frustrating little quirk about them. Where they will have shops... They will have shops where your characters can buy buy uh, armor upgrades and weapon upgrades and then they turn around and potentially give you that same armor or weapon upgrades or whatever inside of the next dungeon you're going to go and run. So, like, okay, let's say I went and I bought a white robe at a shop and then I can potentially find it in the next dungeon. Of course, you don't know your first time through what it is that you are... You don't really know what it is that you're going to find in the dungeon the first time you're playing through it. So you're going to run a risk of either uh, saving money and potentially not finding what you need and being deficient in terms of character steps until you do find it. Or you can spend the money and potentially find the item later, but, you know, lose out on all that money that you're spending. That's not really a factor here, though, because the stuff I'm finding isn't isn't better than what I already have. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so was that a key item? I think those ribbons might actually be doing what I think they do. Because those last enemies tried inflicting a lot of status ailments on me. They repeatedly cast slow, and the only characters that it affected were the two characters that don't have ribbons. So either that was by chance, or they do what I think they do. Alright. And... Was there one more up there? Did I go through this one? Nope. Cottage! Mithril Helm. Now, I think I already... I think, yeah. Close to a level up with Yuna. Not that I'm going to let you see that. <laughs> oh shit, I just went back to where I was before. I'm an idiot. Gotta go south. at the end. There's a dude here. There's the way up. Should I explore at all? Or is this something that feels like I should uh, come back and then check out later? Ah, oh! Increase in attack for Riku. Let's see it in action. New enemies anyway. Look at that. Nice. Hmm. Funny little animation there. Maybe I should just come back. Although, coming back might be a pain in the ass. Let's just explore this level completely. So I don't know if I'm going to have to run through the entire dungeon in order to get back here. This looks important. Oh, okay. Something's happening here. <laughs> it's a good thing I went back. Oh, so I guess that's where the final dungeon is. Right in the middle of the map. Okay. The entire world is a small place. Doesn't look like there's anything here.
No known weakness. No known weakness. That sucks. Is Tiamat the boss of this dungeon? Hmm. Are you all just going to tell me the same thing? That was helpful. <laughs> Thanks. These games, the old school RPGs that had the high encounter rates, did kind of feel like that they were punishing you for exploration, though. That is definitely something that you've seen a change to in the modern era. So, like that room I just ran into, as far as I can tell, that was useless. That was a useless room. And I went out there and I got into a couple of fights that didn't really do me any good. Protect Cloak. Hmm. Up, 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 what is this? Oh, you have any more of these? Finally, a shield that my mages can equip. <laughs> Close. Was that just a regular ass, um... Yeah, that was useless. I guess I could sell it at a shop or something. I'm not like I get much money for it. Whatever. More gill. Potion. Okay. Protect ring. Not quite useless, because gill is always nice, but... Protect ring. I mean, I picked up so many of them just in this dungeon alone that it comes across as a little bit useless. And this guy keeps healing himself. In fact, the last time I fought one, he healed himself before I even hit him. I wonder if that's just, like, simple AI that can't figure out when it should do something or not. This is cheating. <laughs> Makes me... I, I, I have a feeling that this was designed that I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. Like in the old NES version, there wasn't a map like that. So you wouldn't have known you wouldn't have had that map to bring up to be able to tell whether you can just skip right to the end here. You'd have to go wandering around and exploring. And I just checked the map to see where the exit is. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Neo Chu. Guess it's a uh, red Ochu. <laughs> Ochu was another reoccurring enemy in the Final Fantasy series giant plant monster. They're always supposed to be fairly difficult. You know, I think I'm in a puzzle. Here. Man, that fucker hits hard. Alright, there we are. Oh, oh, alright, alright, alright. That's the boss. Fortunately, it does sort of give you a, just a little bit of notice here. Like, I know that the boss is there. And since I know that the boss is here, I can do a little bit of prep work. Like, I can go and use up all those stupid potions that I picked up. Where the hell are they? <laughs> like, yeah, these are not terribly useful. Because they don't recover much HP. But I can also heal my characters and... Not gonna be using level one spells in the fight, so I might as well heal up my characters now. And then I can, you know, check your equipment or something like that. Then you get to choose to walk into the fight. You're an ugly son of a bitch, aren't you?
Alright, you're probably not going to be that difficult. Let's be realistic here. Uh, so, this negates enemies' magic defenses. This is probably a weak enemy to, to holy, too. Let me, uh, let me do the dispel. And I'm just going to smack you with as much magic power as I can. See if I can just nuke you real quick. Miss. Of course it did. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. It's hard. Break. Let me try this to see if this does more damage. Does not. Okay, that attack was not particularly powerful. So, let's see if I can nuke you this way. No known weakness. Looks like you're weak to that. It's hard. And you're dead. You're not that strong. <laughs> I found a known weakness. If you jam a sword into its chest, it dies. Who would have thunk it? It's weak to being beaten to death. Cool if there's some sort of like buff to your characters that this did. All right, here's the exit. And there we go. Now that um, that map showed us that. Looking glass to the world showed us that there was a kind of a central location around about here or something that would be the final dungeon. Fuck, is the final dungeon the first dungeon? Oh, well, that would explain why it was way bigger than it should have been. <laughs> Alright, so I'll uh, check that out in the next episode, huh?